guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to do that. I'll be showing you how to make stairs to go to your second floor. So. <laughs> Alright guys, so more or less stairs to go to the second floor is gonna be custom. So we have the the wood right here. We have three two by twelves by sixteen feet. You know, so we could get the proper angle, we can get the proper cut, and they could be strong as fuck. So nobody could fall, nobody could go nowhere. Um I also got the thing to reinforce the cross beam now you and each house is different in this house in particular the cross beam is eight inches thick so I got two by eight by ten feet now stairs is between 36 inches and 40 inches 42 whatever you want to make it but in this case we might just do 36 inches depending on the width I don't want to cut too many cross beams I probably just cut one and then I'll make the stairs that thickness I may or may not cut two just to make them a little wider, we'll decide when we get to it. Custom job, like I said, so I'll be cutting the angles and everything for the stairs to land on it. So wish me luck. Um, besides that, the cross beam, like I said, I got two by eight by ten feet. Six feet would have been enough if perfection is uh, not required. Um, eight feet would have been enough, but I got ten, ten feet, just in case. Why not? Just go a little bit bigger, an extra dollar or two. So that's what I'll be showing you guys today. So the first thing I did was I made a hole, as you guys can see, so I could measure the thickness of the beams themselves. That's how I know it's eight inches. Another thing you're gonna need is these little things right here to reinforce. Where is it? Right there. Boop. Those things. take out two beams why because the stairs are 48 inches I mean we could cut them make it smaller but um, why not utilize the whole thing you know so they're gonna be 48 inches um the first step are gonna be a bit a little bit smaller than the rest that's about it 48 inches is what we're going for now another thing I was gonna do is that you guys are doing was drawing on the wall. Here you guys see, I drew the steps go because there's a window upstairs, right about where this line, is. this mark is right here. There's a window upstairs, and he wants to put the rail after the window, so I can't go, I can't cut past this. So that's why I have to make sure I have my six feet of clearance from the step, right, to the ceiling. So where my cut is gonna be. So that's what I was doing. Um, I, might, I might put a platform um, because he wanted a platform at the bottom. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it because you have this pole right here. But I might be able to put a little platform there for him. And yeah, 
let's keep going. I want to remove the rug, see what the holes are, so that I know where to start cutting without cutting more than I'm supposed to. So as you guys can see, I cut a little square first to see where we were at. This is the window. We can't go past this because he wants to put the handrail right here starting from this side of the wall. So I lined it up so that this cut was inside of that frame. <coughs> now, what I did was, I don't know if you guys saw me downstairs looking to the ceiling, because I drilled the hole. And when I was downstairs, I could see what the hole was, and then I knew it was a few inches in. So right here, I drilled screws to come out. So there's a screw here, and here we guys see over here. See the other screw right there. Right there, see it? That's the other screw. So now, I know a straight line from this screw all the way to this screw. So that's what I gotta cut. And then the other screw so we're still I still gotta go in this way because it's 48 inches so I can imagine this I'm gonna cut a hole over here just to make sure that my holes are right and I also <coughs> have an electric wire going down on this end over here. so it's all the way in the bottom I'm not gonna hit it with the soil even if I cut the floor but um always be aware of electric wires um you don't want to get electrocuted and shit like that so all right let's continue <laughs>
too long, and over these they were too high. So it was popping up up there. And it was not get it in here, so I had to unscrew it and screw the inside in again, because look, right here I can't get my hand through it. Over there I was able to, because it's a big gap, but over here I wasn't able to. I'll tell you, you guys want to make a bigger hole, you just got to patch it later. Um, and that's how it goes. The back is going to the wall first, then you screw these sides. You got to hammer this in. I got to hammer that in right now. So same thing. Usually people put nails right here. I like putting screws, I think it's more secure. And then you put the screws right here to the beams. You know, so that's how you reinforce your flooring. All right, so now that the frame is done, I spoke to the guy and he doesn't want it that wide. That right there is about 47 inches. He doesn't want 47 inch um, stairs. I thought he did because he bought this 48 inch. So I was gonna give him a 47 um, inch stair. So he wanted, he wanted 36. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a cross beam right here, right from going like that at 36 inches where he wants it. Basically gonna do the same thing I just did, just going across this way. I mean like this from here to the So I'm gonna do that at 36. Once that's done, I'm gonna do the flooring. Well, I'm gonna do the stairs. Once the stairs is done, we're gonna add um, plywood wherever it needs it to level it up to even it out in the floor upstairs so that we can put the carpet on it. You, you won't see it. Um, now, if you have a nice flooring and they actually wanna keep the flooring, like this floor right here, and um, less is better. Cut smaller holes until you get to the size that you really want. Or measure a, a few times. He didn't care about the floor because it has carpet in it. You know, so I just went ahead and, and did my cuts. So now, after I'm done doing the stairs, I will have to put plywood and bring it up to the same level as where the carpet is so that you won't feel a difference. So, um, yeah, let's get to it.
did the quick framing. Nothing crazy. Just put the stairs up. Reinforced it with the little brackets. Right there. the bottom I'll show you guys what it's more but more or less other than that so we can put the wall right here as well as take that all the way up when we do the wall on the inside so in here it's gonna be a ceiling there's gonna be a wall in the back 